In this video, we are going to talk about the Kaposi sarcoma associated virus. Right, so this virus is also known as human herpes virus 8. Right, so if you have been watching these videos in order, uh, we discussed them like from human herpes virus 1 until now. So this is our last uh, virus in the herpes viride family. Right, and in some videos, we were repeating general features of our uh, viruses in the herpes viride family like uh, these viruses for example they are uh, dna viruses which are double stranded and linear they replicate in the nucleus of the host cell and also they have an envelope like all of them they have an envelope and their envelope they derive it from clear envelope of the host right from the nuclear envelope not from the uh, cell membrane like as a uh, other viruses which replicate in the cytoplasm. So the Kaposi sarcoma associated virus or HHV8 is actually transmitted through sexual intercourse. The seroprevalence is high in men who have sex with men uh, and also HIV positive patients uh, and the higher incidence are in Russia and in Africa. Right, uh, so let's talk about uh, like clinical presentation, right? So this uh, Kaposi sarcoma associated virus uh, actually cause malignant multifocal and highly vascularized tumors. They are highly vascularized because this virus actually cause a proliferation of vasculature by dysregulation of vascular endothelial growth factor, right? So it causes multiple cutaneous or visceral lesions, uh, which can be elevated or flat with the rapid growth. And, and these lesions can be also found uh, in the GIT. Initial manifestations are on the skin and mucosa, especially uh, on, on the face, oral cavity, and the chest. Right. So here I have uh, some images which I want to show you. So here you can see dark red solitary muckles, uh, which are also called patches, right? Here and here, right? Uh, yeah, you can see this one like on the tip of the nose. Uh, and these uh, lesions, they actually present like the initial, they are the initial lesions, right? Which start. Uh, okay, and the second one here is uh, on the skin. So here you can actually see a mixture of dark red muckles, purples, and the plaques uh, which are asymmetrically distributed right you can see uh, different uh, sizes right uh, and another image which I have uh, is this one right so here uh, you can see the lesions right so the lesions are purple brownish because of intense vascularization right and on the first image you can see an elevated uh, lesion right and here it's it's flat right and the last image i have for you is this one right so this is an hiv positive patient with kaposi sarcoma and candidiasis and as i said before uh the purple brownish uh, lesions are there because of intense vascularization right and these are uh, white yellowish plaques are uh, caused by what by candida and they can be uh, scraped off actually and also you need to know that the Kaposi sarcoma associated virus actually causes a B cell lymphoma called primary effusion lymphoma, right? The second thing you need to know is the lesions caused by this virus can be confused with the Bartonella hensley, right? So this one is actually a, a bacteria. We will talk about it in, in our next series of bacteriology. If you do the skin biopsy, you actually see spindle-shaped cells, leukocyte infiltration, and angiogenesis. And this angiogenesis is actually a normal physiological uh, development of new blood vessels. So this is what you see in HHV8 or in Kaposi sarcoma, right? But for Bartonella, you actually see neutrophilic infiltration, right? So here is how you differentiate them, right? 
um, on Kaposi Sakoma, you you need to remember leukocyte infiltration, and for Bartonella, you need to remember neutrophilic infiltration. Right. Uh, and one more thing about treatment, antiretroviral treatment is uh, actually indicated in patients with HIV, and thus it's.